Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org following on from this video uh, for the new Boston. Now, we've already established um, our variables and we've output them in PHP. Um, let's just take a look at the code again. Um, we've, we've basically fulfilled all three of our requirements. Now, if you haven't already seen uh, this video um, of creating this, please go back and watch it, otherwise you're not going to completely understand what's going on. Now, what we've done is we've taken the variables, we've checked whether um, the form is being submitted. Um, if we submit the form without, we say fill in all fields, if we enter something in each of these, um, we are displayed with this. Now, this video is going to deal with the security of form data. If I was, say, extracting data from a database or submitting data to a database, then extracting it back, and anything user submitted, there's always going to be a chance that people are going to try and mess around with your code uh, or with your pro or with your web application, whatever it may be. Now, the day is Monday, the date is 31st, and the year is 2011. However, what's to stop me typing in this so I'm going to have the day in bold uh, a normal date and then let's say let's underline the year and I click submit you can see that the output to the page is now has now been formatted depending on what the users put in now the reason this is dangerous is because I could in fact say iframe source equals um, a page here um, I could end my iframe there, um, I could type in anything here, I could type in anything there, and you can see that what's happened is, is that we've, we've returned this HTML and it's echoed it out onto the page, therefore we're processing HTML on a page. We don't want our users to be able to do this, and there's a simple way that we can um, protect against this, a simple and effective way to protect against this. Now. What we do is, when we declare our variables here, day, date, and year, we can also include these wrapped in functions. And the function we need is HTML entities. We don't need to worry about this here because we're not doing anything with this data when we check this here. So for example, we wouldn't need to say HTML entities there it would be absolutely pointless because we're not displaying the data here, we're just checking whether this particular variable here is set. So we wrap the function that we're eventually going to display. Remember, um, we're displaying day down here, so we need to protect by wrapping um, what we're grabbing in in this function. So HTML entities. And what HTML entities does, um, I can show you on the page um, when we view the source of this, um, entities, uh, entities, yeah. Okay, so HTML entities, what this is going to do is it's going to take, let's for, say, for example, um, a strong tag. It's going to keep the word strong, that's fine. Keep the word strong here, that's absolutely fine. But it's going to turn these into um, a value that's rather than processed on an HTML page, it's displayed on an HTML page. Um, so for example, a pound sign like that exists as a pound sign. However, if we want to display a pound sign in, in an HTML format, we'd use and pounds, okay? Or, or I think it's and pound, but you know what I mean. So we're actually taking these, um, right, let's view the source at the moment and we can see what we're talking about. Okay, so at the moment, um, we've got iframe source and this is being displayed on the page. Um, no. Okay. Uh, we need to take this away. We'll just take day away for now. So for the day, I'm going to write iframe source, blah, blah, blah. 31, 2011. Let's refresh. Now for the day, we've got this iframe up. Now let's uh, view the page source, and you can see that the code exists as you would normally type it um, on a page. So you'd normally type iframe if you wanted an iframe to be displayed. Now this is a massive security issue now, because we're displaying it as we might type it if we wanted to create the page. So with the HTML entities, what we're actually doing, let's just refresh the page, 
is we're now just displaying it on its own and we do this um, by using these um, HTML entities in fact to display everything rather than um, process them as HTML tags so that's basically the basic security around your form um, there's obviously added security when you're dealing with different things but if you're displaying data on a page for now this is absolutely adequate uh, to ensure that your users don't do things like change the background well it can't change the background color but iframes are very dangerous for sort of XSS attacks things like that so that's basic security on your form